Welcome to the Central Powers Campaign. I promised you guys a campaign here, and every time we do a World War One game, we go for Central Powers, just because it's a hell of a lot more of a challenge. Now, we're going to be starting in 1914, my friends, on the Soldier Rating. That's 3 out of 5, and the reason is because I want these battles to be appropriately vicious. Let's jump in, my friends. Germania uber alles. With the death of the Archduke, Europe is propelled into chaos. Nations honoring treaties and alliances forged years before are now plunged into a conflict they cannot avoid, sparked by a single gunshot. Here on the Western Front, nations draw their battle lines. The central powers of Austria-Hungary and Germany now face the combined alliance of France, Britain, and their colonies. The Great War is about to begin. Melde Gehorsamst! Die russische Zweite Armee wurde bei Tannenberg umfassend zurückgeschlagen. Aber ihre Truppen wurden schneller mobilisiert, als wir es erwartet hatten. Und was ist mit unserem Vormarsch durch Belgien? Aus Belgien wird erheblicher Widerstand gemeldet und das britische Expeditionsheer ist nunmehr in den Konflikt eingetreten. Unsere Befähigung, die Westfront zu überrennen, wurde ein wenig eingeschränkt, aber ich bin zuversichtlich, dass... Paris? Bei unserem Durchbruch an der Marne erleiden wir schwere Verluste. Unsere Befehlshaber vor Ort sind versprengt. Von Kluck hat sich mit seinem Armeeverband auf das Nordufer der Enn zurückgezogen und baut dort Stellungen aus, damit wir uns für einen Großangriff auf Frankreich sammeln können. Russland im Osten, Großbritannien und Frankreich im Westen. Alle graben sich ein. Wir müssen wachsam bleiben. Thus the Western Front was established. From the fields of Flanders to the borders of Switzerland, the great nations would make their stand. The fate of millions was now in the hands of a few. So as you guys can see, of course, we are surrounded on all sides, um, as, as one can imagine. Now, unfortunately, this game does not have the Eastern Front. I'm guessing that will hopefully eventually be a DLC, but we're starting off with very little in the way of research points and technology, and that's going to have to be our initial focus. I want to make sure that, number one, we get trench lines established appropriately. So we'll go straight into trench engineering. It looks like we already have effective heavy artillery. And what I could have done there, actually, I can undo. We've got three points, and I can go straight into time shells or gas shells. That's right. I haven't tried the gas shells yet, so I am applying those changes. We're really kind of avoiding the typical approach of uh, infantry focus and going straight for gas. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to find out. Uh, I also want to make sure to um, spread our guys yeah, along no, the line. Feel. And let's just get a few units to move. So we'll do this, this. You can see we've got German conscript corps, we've got elite infantry corps, and we've got standard infantry corps. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, <clears throat> pardon me, make sure that we are only moving... Ah, that we're only moving some of these guys so we're gonna leave a bunch of them behind we're, we're taking some conscripts with us we're taking some elite with us and we're taking three standard infantry and i'm going to Metz right there um because of course verdun is right there and i'm expecting the french to expecting the french to um of course push through these areas at thionville longville stenay etc so i'm also going to take some guys from kruznak Again, just moving a few of these. And I really want you guys, the viewer, to have um, a large part of this campaign. And I want you guys to give me some thoughts, some suggestions about where you would be attacking, for instance. And as you can see over here, we cannot attack this turn because the men had to move quite a long way to get here. Um, so we don't want to consider doing that just yet. I'm just looking along the line at different places where we might be able to sort of uh, strengthen our existing front. So once again, I'm going to take one of these guys over to Mohang. I'm going to take one of these guys over here and send it to Saraburg. So we've got some very strong lines here in the south for the next attack. If I look over here, I'm just looking for different areas where we might be able to launch an offensive. And for instance, Lille into Hasebrook. That might be able to work, but I'm really thinking here on turn one, we just wait. 
So we have to defend 10 French infantry companies. That's going to be our first objective. Let's see if they go for the attack first. All right, January 1915, and no, they have not, guys. It's going to be absolutely up to us, and Verdun is looking perfect. All of these companies uh, attacking Verdun. Let's take a look here, and let's wish our men the best of luck. The first battle of the Central Powers at Verdun. We've got some elite infantry corps, some conscripts, some standard riflemen. Let's hope everything goes well. Engage the battlemen. Now, one thing we have to keep in mind for this particular battle is this is known as the Pride of France. Verdun is considered really a French gem. Um, they're not going to give this up easily at all. So what I am going to do, um, I'm going to get some artillery set up here um, just so that it can fire at both of the French locations we seek to target. So we're going to put some there. We're going to put some heavy artillery over here. And I hate to put another piece of heavy arty, but I feel like we really need it. Um... Yeah, it's unfortunate because it's going to cost us a lot of points, but that's what we're going to do. We're also just hoping that the French are not going to launch any sort of attack on their own. And I'm looking at at C as the main attack point. And the reason is because look at this massive anthill over here on C. If we can take that and conquer it, we are doing quite a lot to hurt the enemy. Uh, the same is true on B. There are just so many little anthills, guys, and it's going to be tough to break through. We really selected the toughest possible uh, starting battle, um, but I'm not taking it back. I think this is the correct approach, kind of see how it goes. Um, it's our first fight, so clearly our men are expecting to be home by Christmas, and they're very, very confident. I also want to make sure we have some guys over here, just in case the enemy tries to attack us. Um, we can actually put some conscript companies here to make sure we're not um, using up too many of our points. And actually, these conscript companies make for pretty good cannon fodder, so um, I'd rather not use them for that now, but that's just something to think about. We still got 703 points to spend, and every single bit of that is going to go into infantry and artillery. So let's begin the battle here in Verdun, my friends. The first battle of Verdun. If you've gotten this part, this far in the, this particular part of the campaign, make sure to type Verdun in the comments below here. Um, and here we go, guys. Oh, boy. First things first, we got to get a visual. I could have, of course, called in, um, what's it called? That wonderful um, balloon, but not going to happen. What we are going to try is we're going to try these gas shells. It's 80, guys, to use the gas shell. So I'm going to just pop it here and see what happens. Oh my goodness, look at that. A completely abandoning Achtung, the trench. Let's just hope halten. the gas dissipates by the time we get there. Uh, and of course, we want to have the rest of our artillery shells ready to fire. So Ein I am going Linie. straight to the trench line here. Wir haben neue straight to the trench line over Vor there Stellung as well. Halten. We're just going to try to force Wir our way in Befehle. really quick. And look at that. They're actually Abschnitt advancing. Halten. Pretty Feuer impressive, Befehle. man. Feuer, try and hit them right there while they're out of the trench. We've also got to find the location of their um, machine guns. So we've definitely found the location of their infantry, but their machine guns remain elusive. Keep on hitting them, boys. We'll stop right here because at least the men can open fire from this distance. Fire, fire. See, plenty of the enemy are out of the trench, and that gas is still going to work on the existing enemies. I did not imagine this would be so damn effective. The problem is us getting into that trench ourselves without dying from the gas, man. Let's just hope it dissipates. For now, we're going for that secondary trench. No, we gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. Come on, come on. We were so close to finding that secondary MG. All right, we did get some guys in the trench incredibly. Um, I would consider that a hell, hell of a thing, really. Um, and I think, you know what? We're gonna fire some more gas. It is expensive. But if we can fire it against these infantry units, we can make it into those trenches. Again, the problem is they are going to counterattack very quickly. So let's go, boys. Over the top. And we're going to simply gas this area here. Um, so anybody behind is going to be affected, but it'll allow us to continue and take this trench right here. At least that's what I'm thinking, but damn, it's expensive. Scheiße. They're actually going to walk right into the gas. 
And while, look at that, we can actually see a bunch of other infantry um, retreating. I'm going to open up with the artillery on them. Sometimes, guys, even without taking territory, you can still come out with a hell of a victory. And I still see more of them retreating. I'm going to keep on firing. <clears throat> Go. Secondary trench. Look at that, guys. They are going to try and move through the gas, but they see they can't handle it. I think it was the right um, approach for our first weapon. Unfortunately, these guys may be going straight into the gas themselves. Trying to get them to avoid it and go over here. I did, however, also spot the enemy machine gun, which I believe is right there. And look at that. We've got a proper trench fight. We've also got plenty of trench up here. And the machine gun is actually a proper bunker, guys. Not sure if we can get past that. Bring in some more um, standard uh, infantry. We'll bring in an additional German elite infantry as well. I'd rather not lose our elites. And you know what? I'm going to send in an infantry group over here to take on the um, the rest of the French and British. But I think here it's entirely going to be French. Let's do a gas attack back here at all of their reinforcing lines. And there's that damn MG. So we're just going to call in an artillery strike on it. We should be able to completely obliterate that MG and start getting into the trenches here on the anthill. Here we go. They're going straight through the gas once again. <clears throat> Every second they spend there is helping us out. And in fact, I could also call in an artillery strike there. Make sure those guys are in the fight. Get in the trench. And these guys we're going to send to this trench. Um, I am going to have to do some light suppression on it. Maybe not. We'll stop the light suppression. We'll keep the suppression on their turret there. Uh, because I actually don't see any enemies here. Look at that. They're dropping artillery directly on us. But we shall not be affected, guys. And again, that point C is what we're trying to take. But it doesn't look like our artillery is doing any damage to point C. Um, that thing, it might just be too strong. We might need to get in there the old-fashioned way. Uh, let's grab any additional we men we have. have. We're going to bring we them up over here. here. And I will bring in some additional elite infantry. Uh, because as you can see, guys, they are going to try to take the points. More gas. This is going to end up affecting our men, so I'm a little thinking maybe it's not the best idea. Um, at the same time, if they retreat here, they're going to retreat into their gas. Yeah, we're going to drop it right there. Right there. Keep your wits about you, men. Some more gas is coming in. Ooh. We have new orders. Well, that's, we're also going to drop some suppressive fire on that trench. And there's probably another MG over here. Nope, I see the damn MG. Well, at least we spotted it all the way over there. Uh, incredibly, our elite infantry pushed through, and they actually did make it to this trench. Not sure if they can make much of a difference, but hell of a lot of fighting spirit here with, from these boys. Sehr gut. Let's see how far away we are from C. Look at that, man. C's right there. We've got a bunch of machine guns close by. And yes, it does seem that the gas has dissipated, so it's a good time to go ahead and get the trench. What the hell? Are they... Maybe there's still some gas in those trenches because they are acting awful skittish. There we go. Mannschaften bereit! And actually, it looks like that MG's almost destroyed. I'm going to call in another gas barrage on top of the MG. I'm not sure it actually affects it, but what I know is there are a ton of Frenchmen there. There we go. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think we are going to need to drop some suppressive fire, too. The 
Warten auf Befehle. Diese Stellung gehört uns. An die Linie. Melde mich zum Dienst. Verstärkung macht Meldung. Got to be careful though with those points. We can see them dissipating very quickly, guys. They're going to do everything they can to stop this advance. And in fact, I think I'm going to do some more gas right there to wipe out some more of the enemy. It's a numbers game right now. If we can affect their numbers, I think we can make a huge difference. They very quickly overwhelm us, though, as you can see. Gotta keep supporting with attacks. Wir haben neue Befehle. Auf der Feuerstufe bereit machen. Wir haben neue Befehle. Diese Stellung halten. Das ist zu viel. Rückzug. Warten auf Befehle. Die Generäle wollen sie nicht angehen. Bereit machen. We'll get one in that trench and continue the advance. Oh, and an artillery directly on their unit here. I don't think they're going to make it very far either. mind too but any attempt to push here has got to be done on a very large scale as you can see and I'm not sure we have the manpower to make it happen to take this area more gas and more standard artillery there we go that one actually struck perfectly and I think it's because we also have infantry companies advancing here Fire! Gonna send in our elite troops there. We have new weapons. Again, we know the MG is somewhere over here. Um, let's try and strike it. I see it it's right there. Let's go. They're going to bring in a massive artillery strike on our uh, infantry right there. And let's just try and push on through here. We can almost get these guys to retreat. They're in such bad shape. No, they're still able to stop us pretty easily there, unfortunately. Well, let's keep going in the rounds. Um, I think I'm going to fire another gas volley. And really, I'm just doing this in an effort to uh, minimize or diminish the amount of enemy troops to really give them a huge casualty count. But I think that's going to be the final gas attack. We did accomplish our objective. That's a huge bonus. They cannot make it through. Look how wonderful that is, man. They are in panic, and you can just see the the trenches filled with French troops. They're going to try to charge in here, but I don't think they have any chance whatsoever. We could do the same over here. No more gas attacks, but we could continue hitting them with artillery strikes. And I was worried that Verdun was a bit, um, we were expecting a bit too much out of the battle. The fact is, you know, Verdun is um, an extremely, extremely pro-French area. Uh, it's one of their strong points, so we really went for the strongest possible place here in fight number one. Still got that those 58 points but again i don't think it's enough to uh to change the outcome of this battle i think the best thing to do is save our remaining men um, we've done a ton of damage to the enemy uh, infantry 
and in our future battles, we're going to go for the, the somewhat weaker areas. I think that's that's probably a good idea. Send in a couple more units of elite infantry, but as you can see, they are attacking in force, sending everything they've got at us. I think we can call it um, after this bit of battle gets resolved. In fact, with the advancing French there, I am going to go ahead and call that ceasefire now. We'll take it. Not the best battle, but I'm hoping that the casualties... Oh, sorry about that. Hoping that the casualties will, um, you know, work out in our favor. So here we go. I don't even know how I got it on my PC. Uh, there we go. So interesting score there, guys. It is a minor loss for us. You can see the amount of um, Central Powers casualties. This is the amount the French killed of our men. Uh, this is the amount of men we killed on the French side. We did destroy some weapon emplacements, which is good. Uh, but again, um, just a vicious fight, no matter how you look at it. There's a beautiful amount of detail, too, for these fights. Like, you can actually just go through and see exactly what time it hap what time each thing happened. Um, just like a proper trench battle. Uh, each minute is recorded, which I think is wonderful. But let's head back to the world map. So, of course, that's going to slightly lower our um, national morale. Uh, but I think it's only by like six points, something like this. Uh, we will have more victories in the future if we keep on pushing. So if you want to see some more of this campaign and you really want to see us uh, push on through, um, actually, that didn't go so bad. Didn't go as bad as I thought it would. Uh, you really want to see us push on through um, to victory, then make sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. There are so many other areas we can attack here. Um, with not as many men. I'm looking at Lyon and Soison. I'm thinking this is a perfect attack area. I'm also thinking the area of Beauzère here, maybe into châtillon sur marne would be absolutely perfect. We can absolutely do some breakthroughs here, but I want to make sure that I've got your guys' support for this campaign. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work, and it's going to take a hell of a lot of time, uh, both of which are quite valuable to me. Thanks so much, guys. Oh, before we leave, we've got one more research point. Let's go ahead and boost that trench. I was going to boost the infantry, but I think the trench is definitely more important. See you soon, my friends. Gamania uber alas.